So if you're if you're looking around the room in here, you're probably going to notice that I have a lot of superhero, a lot of action figures. So uh, it's kind of going to be kind of a long story. I'll shorten it. So I collect comic books. Uh, I'm more of a Marvel line person when I collect them. So this happened probably when I was like 12 or 13 years old. Uh, what got me started on comic books was Greek mythology. Uh, I was fascinated by the stories and I had a, a fourth grade uh, teacher that uh, I, I was a little bit ahead as far as reading. I was a little bit more advanced in the classroom and stuff like that. So she allowed me to go over to the library when we had reading class and stuff like that to where I can pick up books and read it. I don't know who gave me this book, but there was one just about Greek mythology. And it just blew me away. So, you know, I, I believe in Christ Jesus. But when I went through and read this, it was interesting how folks in the past tried to explain why things were and giving credit to these Greek gods and goddesses. And the stories that they came up with, which was aligned to the stars. So it was just fascinating to me. And I wanted to know more and more. So I just, it, it increased my reading and all that. From there, it transitioned over to, I think I caught hold of Norse mythology and I got Thor from there and Hercules from Greek mythology. And then I saw that they were in these comic books. So by reading Thor, then Hercules, then Captain America, and then the X-Men, that was like the stories that I was reading about Greek mythology was gathering a life of its own and it was just the greatest thing on earth. It was like, it was like TV for me, it was like entertainment, it was like going to the movies. So. I've kept those books and collected it. I probably have about, uh, probably anywhere from, uh, and I haven't taken account of it, I probably got anywhere from three to maybe four or five thousand comic books in my possession right now. Uh, and I have probably several hundred comic cards. And of that collection of comic books that I have, uh, quite a few of them are, uh, I keep them in Mylar bags and everything like that, protected. And, and, uh, when I turned, uh, when I got into the military and had a little bit more money and stuff, I would buy two or three extra comics. I would read one to know my history of it and stuff, and the other two I would store away so I would keep them in like mint condition or whatever. So the reason why I have these in here is because getting this job as principal and then collecting these comic books, it just went together like this. And the reason why is because I think of every one of my students as superheroes. And if you read a lot of these superhero lines, they had these fantastic abilities, but there was always some sort of issue internally that they were fighting. And they had a problem. They either lost a parent, were picked on, or something like that. Then they came into their abilities and they had to struggle with how to not overpower people with these abilities, but use these abilities for good. And to grow in the full potential of their abilities. So that's what I see when I walk through the hallways and things like that. I see some of the kids, some of them I do label with superhero titles and stuff like that because they fit the characters that I'm seeing and it's a weird thing so I read some of the comic books and I see okay my kid is unique in this so maybe this is a way to address it because that's how they dealt with in the comic book. It's kind of weird but uh, it, it's, it's a phenomenal thing. I'm walking in the hallway with superheroes and so I just have that representation in the hallway. So a lot of kids they come in and they'll talk to me and I'm finding out that a lot of these kids because the movies are coming out with these superheroes and it, it, you know it's blowing my world, it's rocking my world. Watching, seeing Doctor Strange, the X-Men, it's like I'm reading the comic book in real life. It's, it's, it's the greatest thing. I'm living in a great time now. But uh, when the kids come into the office, it kind of sets the tone because they see that I'm not just this stuffy whatever guy. I actually have a childlike passion and it, it makes it so that we relate and uh, it opens up the conversation even if they're coming in here for a discipline issue it's weird that a couple of times the kids will walk out of here uh, kind of laughing or understanding what they did and they'll they'll accept responsibility and I say well you know that's what Spider-Man did except his responsibility for what he had and stuff it's weird it's a weird thing <laughs>